after I sold my swimming pool company, one of the gentlemen who stayed with the swimming pool company started to build fountains and ponds as a sideline. He convinced me to build a pond after six years of talking to me. So in 2001, I told him, that's great. The next pond you build, I'll go out there and build it for you. You just tell me how to do it and put the supplies there. So we show up one day, and I built this pond, and he gives me all the direction and the equipment and the rock, and I built this pond, and it just happened that I finished the pond the day after the planes crashed in the World Trade Tower. So the planes crashed on a Tuesday. We weren't working that day, just a happy day. So Wednesday we finished the pond. That Friday, I'm sitting at a patio just like this, in front of the pond, with the new homeowner, and we're waiting for my friend to come back so we could do a final walkthrough. And at that time, they had taken all the planes out of the sky. It was total silence. This is in Bethesda, Maryland, where there's a plane every 30 seconds going over the head. Everybody was kind of wacky in the head and kind of reevaluating life. And I just sat on the deck with the homeowner, and the beautiful waterfall was going like this. The birds were chirping. Total silence in the sky. And I had such a calming feeling. I felt so great, I decided at that moment, although I don't know much about ponds, I'm going to learn and I'm going to start a pond business. This is my next career. Two weeks later, I was in pond school, building a pond in Northern Virginia, as it turns out. I paid 99 bucks to show up with a shovel, and this company from Chicago flies in and teaches me how to build a pond. And I just took off from there. Started my own company, and here we are today.